In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the Y cross concept out of the tight slots halfback week in Madden 23. We're going to be showing it to you out of the Cincinnati Bengals offensive play because I believe that's the best gun tight slots halfback week formation. And if you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is, like I said, the Y crossing concept. And we're going to go into the tight slots halfback week. We're going to set a couple of audibles. This formation, as I said, I think this is the best tight slots because you have post wheel drag, you have flood, four verticals in mesh spot. Now, the way that we're going to set this up is we're actually going to audible into the formation because that's kind of what most people are doing right now. And I actually think it is going to be better. It's going to make it so that you have a little bit easier time setting this up. So we're coming out in bunch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to audible into the play Mesh Spot. Uh, and Mesh Spot has a couple really good routes. What I like to do with this play is I like to smart route the post route so that it runs a little shallower. I'm going to streak the left side receiver. We're going to take Herman Moore, that little slot receiver, put him on out. We're going to go ahead and motion out that post. And we're going to cross our tight end and block or, uh, an in route already back. So you see this is kind of the, the play that we create. And what you're going to notice is against man coverage, this little short out route is super effective, especially if you have short in elite on that player. He's, he's really, uh, it's really effective. Any kind of route running ability whatsoever. If you had to choose where do you want to put your route running abilities, obviously you might put it on the tight end, of course. But, you know, he's a really, he gets really good separation against man coverage. Now, the other routes of the play that are really good against man coverage is this tight end crosser. As you see right here, just gets across the field really well and uh, kind of gets into a soft spot. All you need for this is tight end apprentice, by the way. Uh, most people probably by now have Hot Route Master. If you don't have tight end apprentice, then you can run this concept. You just want to, what I like to do, is run it the other direction and use a slant route instead of a crossing route. So we can run post wheel drag and basically just run it to the left side. Now, another read that you have um, specifically against man-to-man -man coverage is they're going to have to kind of make a decision. Are they going to use the, the crosser or are they going to let you throw this post route right in that little pocket right there? As you can see, that post route's a super effective man beater. It's been a super effective man beater for years, and you see that it's very good. Now, the next thing that they're going to do is once they start to see that you're running a lot of crossing patterns, they might go to zone coverage. So what you're going to get is you're going to get some variation of zone. I'm going to show you cover four, cover three, and cover two. Again, this is the setup. And what you're going to notice here is... That this tight end crosser is really your best read against zone, as you can see right there, just right on the sideline. Super simple. This is also why I really recommend when you run this play to go ahead and run this play to the left hash mark if you're going to run it like I'm showing it to you here. If you run it to the right hash mark, then you're going to need to either motion out that clear out route or you're going to need to uh, maybe run it the opposite direction. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. Now you see here again, tight end crosser. But the other thing that you might see is this post route. Now this post route, what you can actually do with it, especially this year, is it gets in this really soft spot in the zone. And all you have to do is basically high point it once it clears the zone. So if the user decides, hey, I'm going to go guard uh, the crossing pattern, then basically once this, once this uh, route kind of gets into the soft spot of the zone, we're going to high point, pass it down, ag it, and you see that the KOs are not going to be able to activate to knock the ball out. So you see there, that allows us a great read, real simple against cover three and cover four. Now, let's say that they go to cover two. Most people, I mean, you might get a little bit of cover two against tight. Most people don't run cover two because it's too easy to bomb this year. But what you'll see is, number one, you can high-low them in the flat. That route right there is going to be tender, as you can see right there. He's kind of falling into the area. Um, however, if they are dropping, one of the things that's also very popular if you're going to run cover two, though, is to take your mid read and actually drop him into like the middle third. So if they're doing that, if they're dropping their mid read into the middle third, then we're going to have a little bit more success at throwing that pattern. And again, you can high low cover two in the flat. So if they're not playing hard flats, I can throw the out routes on either side. Then you'll see right here, I can wait on this route and actually throw it over in this area of the field, as you can see right there. So mesh spot, what I like about that post route is it's what I call a multi-window route. So it's just going to keep running. So they have to kind of user that um, to take that away. I'll show it to you one more time how the route just the route just will run forever. Um, it's kind of like the Pat Sale post route. It's just such a long 
developing route. So you'll see here, if I have time in the pocket, I can wait on the route, throw it all the way over in that area where, you know, obviously no zone drop can guard it. So that's where they have to kind of use her. Uh, they have to kind of use her that route. So if they do decide to use her that route, then what's going to be open is, again, these high lows in the flat that we can do on either side uh, to the running back or to the out route or even the crossing route to the tight end. And the crossing route to the tight end you'll see right here, especially against cover two, um, you've got a chance to kind of get that into a high-low situation where if they're going to take the crosser, then you take the flat. If they're going to take the other, then you take you know the other. So really simple play, but really effective. If they are truly running a lot of cover two, then if you use the tight end apprentice post, um, I think that this will get a little bit more depth for you. And so what you'll see here is this post route, a lot of times we'll get over the top of that cloud on the cover two side. Actually, it still didn't get over the top. So whatever, just throw that route. <laughs> I mean, if they run cover two, obviously, like I said, you have the high lows and the flats on both sides. So it should be fairly self uh, straightforward. Last coverage I want to show you with this uh, with this play out of tight slots, that's why cross concept, is match coverage. So what happens if they run match coverage? Match coverage is actually growing in popularity right now. A lot of people are running match coverage. Um, I myself am running a fairly decent amount of match coverage because I do think it does give you the best chance uh, right now. But what you'll see is these routes just cook. Of course, I say that I throw pick because I can't freeform. These routes just cook match coverage. Your crossing route on both sides is going to be uh, pretty good. So your tight end should be able to have some decent separation against match coverage. And then your post over the middle should also have quasi-decent uh, separation against match coverage. So you've got a lot of options here. Uh, your quick out right there could potentially beat it. That right there is really the main read, as you can see. It just gets in a soft spot against match coverage really hard for match coverage to be able to handle it now let's say that their user you know decides i'm going to go guard the tight end right so i'll show you what that might look like so if their user decides hey i'm going to go guard uh the tight end i'm going to take him away then what you're going to be able to do is this route to cd lamb should be wide open in the middle of the field so you'll see your out route, your running back route, and then you see CD Lamb right open over the middle of the field. So, super effective concept. Why cross? I think it's a staple out of any any uh, offense that you run. You need to have some semblance of why cross, and this is how you run it out of the tight slots halfback week. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure that you join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.